the fuck is up, Juggalos and Juggalettes? It's 2019 in the building, in the place to be. Thank you if you're watching. Uh, these are growing a little bit popular amongst you. I like it. I like it a lot, a lot. Uh, so we're going to talk about something that I just listened to with these ears. With ears. So I just listened to them and it's pretty good. Uh, Violent J released uh, at his VIP thing, uh, Brother EP. Brother. The Hulk Hogan on it, ripping the shirt and the juggalo written on top. You know, like, yeah, brother. I want that as a tattoo. <laughs> I know it's it was copyright infringement and all that shit with Hulk Hogan's face, but fuck it, man. It's fucking fresh. Brother. Yeah, brother. So, uh... Thanks to 215 Ninjas, hope I got that right, for posting that shit and letting me bump it like I'm going to be bumping uglies in my ears. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. Uh, the first track, uh, I don't know the names of the track, so if somebody can like put them in the comments below and be like, these are the names of them. So, But the first track off, it was, it, it was it's, it's Violent J that I love. Fucking goofy and just saying fuck it, whatever, you know. I I that first track was definitely like oh shit, you know. This is the Violent J I love, y'all. This is the Violent J that makes me fucking happy as can be. Just his rhyme schemes and just what he was doing, man. It was fucking weird and different, and I liked it, man. That that shit got me hyped, yo. Then the second track, okay. Where he's jacking beats, man. I fucking love that shit so fucking much. He started off with the Biggie, got a little bit of Missy Elliott, you know. He's got, he's jacking all these beats and he did Ice Ice Baby. I geeked out so fucking hard. Like, I was, I was, I was texting one of my, uh, messaging one of my homies when he's like, and he sent me the leak. I was like, oh shit, bam, you too, motherfucker. And, that track came on where he's like, I'm jacking, son. Straight jacking, making this shit better, yo. And what did he do? He made it fucking better. Um, I really, 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 really fucking enjoyed that shit, man. Um, I, props to fucking Violent J. Always, brother. Much love. And we're going to get into something else after we get done with this review. Uh, then, uh, what was the next track? I think it was Black Eyed Kids or something like that. That track was okay. It, uh, the chorus... Taking it from the doors, black eye kid. It was I. Right. It was I. Right. It was cool, it, 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 for for what it was. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those tracks where I'm like, eh, I don't really need to listen to this all that time. But the first two tracks, bangers, man, fucking bangers. Um, then uh, there was a uh, the one track that kind of like was like, wait, what is is the last track of the song? You know, I'm sorry, I may be skipping over, but I just listened to the shit. I, you know that last track though that ends the that ends the EP was fucking weird, good weird though I I'm fucking good weird um I thought I think what I like about the brother EP is Violent J is switching up and he's trying things differently he's trying things you know to break the mold of the way ICP used to rap you know. I, I think that with Violent J rapping these styles, which will go into the next review, this is a big Violent J episode, um, goes into what he does on the Big Ballas release, Mr. Clean. I heard that too. Same source. Uh, Mr. Clean is probably by far one of my favorite songs uh, out of the Brother EP and that being dropped Mr. Clean and a lot of people were saying on I think after the first hook into the second verse um he does the the trap style the Ouija Max you know everyone's like oh it's Ouija Max style well, I was just like well that style's considered today's style Violent J tried it I liked it uh he you know the it's it's that choppiness flow where you're like Violent J tried it and I don't know it worked it worked for me and and I, I popped in a big way because I'm like oh because I remember the idea of like man one day they're gonna try this shit Shaggy won't Shaggy will never fucking try that shit I I guarantee it Shaggy Judo can give 
two fucks. Because two's in his name. Too dope. Get it? He, he don't give two fucks. Shaggy's going to rap like Shaggy. But what I like about their, especially just ICP, is Violent J is the one that's always like twisting his style. Shaggy will always be Shaggy, but Violent J twists his style from his voice to when, you know, to now. And with him doing these new things and hearing these, you know, these beats that are considered mainstream, I feel it works. Especially when you have um, the weight of a Shaggy 2 dope to bring you back to reality. You will have Violent J fly off in the fucking space, but you will have Shaggy kind of keeping them grounded of what ICP is and this and that. So shout out to... Um, the to Violent J and ICP, you know, uh, both tracks. Um, Brother EP gets three whoops out of five because the first two tracks were so banging that I went back. I had to go back a few times, and the rest of the album EP was okay. Um, then there's that one weird song. I don't know where he's singing. It was like 13 minutes in because they put the whole EP up in one video. And I think like at the 13 minute mark, it gets really, really fucking weird. <laughs> for, especially for Violent J. And that's why I love Violent J. Violent J is one of those guys who he is always going to push the bar on what he can do. He's tried to sing. He's tried, you know, he still does it. You know, he did beautiful. Um, but, you know, the covers. Look at the cover fucking album for the Mighty Death Pop, man. There, there's a lot of weird shit in there that he covered. And it works to a certain extent. Not, I'm not saying all the time. So I'm not blowing Violent J here and being like, that dude is always on the mark. He has done some shit where you're like, what <laughs> um but that uh also i wanted to cover real quick because i have a little bit of time uh the e and j tour was officially canceled it was officially sorry i saw a dog I mean, you know you see a dog you're like hey dog i'm gonna be a dog um the violent e esham and violent j uh tour was canceled and a lot of rumors and innuendos, of course, it's Violet J's fault. Um, blah, 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 blah. You know, the, the hate I've seen in the comments is kind of, is, is disgusting. Especially this toxic environment we are in. I don't understand it, fam. I really don't. Uh, I want to go, I, I want us to get back to when before. You know, like, like I'm seeing and like, what's so weird too is like, I see automatically people are like, oh man, Magic Ninja would never do that. Magic Ninja this, oh, Magic Ninja that. And I'm like, Magic Ninja Entertainment has fucking absolutely fucking nothing to do with this cancellation of this entire tour. Why the fuck are you being a fucking troll and bringing Magic Ninja Entertainment into the fucking fold when Twisted and all of them had nothing to do with it. Nothing. And the other bullshit I don't like is automatically Violent J is the bad guy. He is the fucking bad guy. I want somebody down in these comments to tell me why. Why do we think this, man? It's supposed to be fucking family. I know rumor and innuendos, and we think we know the we know the full story. Uh, you know all this other bullshit I see on fucking line of everybody making Violent J the fucking bad guy. It's I, this is one comment I saw. I, I it was on Facebook. This is motherfuckers like I'm gonna put fifty dollars down and saying at the end of 2019, Shaggy Too Dope and Violent J are gonna break the fuck up. And ICP will be done. Go fuck yourself. Fuck the fuck off. Do you even know the story? I was looking more and more into why the E and J concert was completely canceled. You know, rumor has it, but um, vehicle malfunctions and this and that. I I looked at all these other rumors and Jay's uh problem with drugs and this and that. And I'm like, do we really fucking know? No, we don't. We don't fucking know. So all this toxic bullshit I see people just, uh, it, it makes me sick. It's like, come on, fam. Come on. Fuck, for fuck's sakes, man. And I know the, the cancellation of the tours were, are happening more. 
uh, the Juggalo, uh, t the big tour they did in Canada, they had to cancel a lot of dates. And rumor was the, you know, uh, Jay had a panic attack or, you know, and he's, he's getting older and he's had problems with that kind of shit. And, you know, automatically people fucking bam shit on him. I don't get it. I really don't. Um, but much love to Violent J. Much love to Shaggy 2 Dope. Uh, thank you for giving me some new music to bump. Uh, like I said, brother gets three out of five whoops. Uh, Mr. Clean gets fucking five out of five whoops. That shit was banging, yo. And I, um, I heard the other track with MC Breed. I think that's an older track. But no, Mr. Clean, that's some shit, man. That, that beat goes fucking hard. Um, and I want to thank everybody who just who just keeps watching and, you know, we're getting more subscribers and I'm getting that little ding, 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 ding. I'm glad you liked, you like what I say. And if you don't like what I say, that's cool. We all in this together, right? On this fucking dirt ball. So everybody, go to cplusstudios.com if you want to hear the greatest fucking podcast in the fucking world that I'm on. And hosted with Philip Magania, my brother, and Jimbo. Cplusstudios.com. We are on everything. And if you like this, like and subscribe. You'll see more of that Juggalo vlog. Because I ain't stopping, motherfucker. Because I, I like talking. As you can tell. So, like and subscribe to the YouTube page. Like and subscribe to the podcast. Also, go to T Public And get some fresh ass merch. Get that fresh merch, man. C plus nine two eight the store. You get, uh, you know, we're already selling shirts. You know, I'm gonna make a a juggalo that juggalo vlog style type shirt that y'all can rep for this fucking right for this show right here, and uh, we can look fresh together. You know what I'm saying? The diamonds are raining, motherfucker. All right, ninjas. That's that juggalo vlog for now. Until next time, like, subscribe comment below and share this motherfucker with the world. Whoop whoop!